Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest VII. Shh, don't talk now. No, I, Maribel, I have to. I have to introduce the video, all right? Uh, it's just the way that it has to be. He won't notice. Don't worry. Grr. All right, so we got the Dark Draco up ahead. Let's go say hi. Yo, you've made it this far. What bad timing. We can try to get on the good side of the Dark Draco later. We'll have to deal with these guys first. Squee! Monsters appeared! Alright, should not be too difficult. Uh, in fact, I'm not gonna... Well, actually, yeah, I am, because I have I still have that equipped. Let's go... Well... Eh, I'll stick with that. Oh, poop. Dang it! Maribel! That eh, shouldn't be a problem, though. Take us a little bit longer to defeat them, but... <clears throat> Other than that, will not be an issue. Doing a little bit of annoying damage, but not so much that it's a problem. And Maribel just sleeps through the entire fight. 260 points of XP, 220 gold. I suppose your fellow travelers too. Dark Draco, we won't try to stop you. Rampage to your heart's content. Go on, blow away the entire continent. Scree! Hi. And into the fight we go with Dark Draco. Yeah, no chance to heal in between, unfortunately. Uh, not too uh, problematic, though. Um... We're not low on hit points, so... Alright. He is weak to sap, so let's go ahead and sap him. We have... I don't think he takes it... I don't think he's vulnerable to stop spell. No. I don't know that he... That would do anything to him anyway. Uh, he is... Vulner... Well, and I should say vulnerable, not as in they take extra damage, but they, um... They don't have any resistance uh, to bang. He doesn't have any resistance to bang and fire spells. I don't think that's worth it right now. Uh, Drag slash might do it. Let's try it. Actually, go ahead and equip that. Go ahead and do an increase. I don't think that anyone really... N I don't know that he does a whole lot of uh, physical attacks, but that's still going to be a decent. Um, Maribel, on the other hand, rather than sap... Oops. Uh, resist fire and ice, because he does have both breath weapons. <clears throat> Let's go for that. Alright, Scorching Breath. 33, 27, 33, 42. That's still a lot of damage. 70... Okay, he is definitely vulnerable to Drag Slash. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Um... Go with a... Psych Up. Go with a Psych Up. With a charge up. We're okay on hit points right now. Go with another sap. <clears throat> that should be as low as he can go. 57 damage on Melvin. Ow. Okay. Drag slash. Drag slash. I don't think you have Drag Slash. No, you do have Fire Slash, which might 
be decent. I don't think he's going to take any damage from the ice part of the claw, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so he's resistant to ice bolt fully. Uh, he is not resistant to ice magic, uh, which I guess would be like uh, ice breath, but I don't know how that's going to affect the claw. Um, and all the fire, he... Uh, has no resistance to, so he should take some extra damage there. Um, Maribel, to be on the safe side, let's go ahead and heal us. Alright, hold there, he went first. Unfortunate, 29, 21, 29, 28. Not too shabby. Back up to full. 262 damage from Ald. 238 from Gabo. 202 from Melvin. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, he has 1,350 hit points, so he's not going to last very long. Uh, I think we can just do regular Drac Slashes here. And a Fire Slash. And for good measure, since we're up at full hit points, do a Blaze Move. 55 damage on all. 88 damage. Fire Slash, 89 damage. 126 and 91. Oh, yeah. All right, I was thinking that would kill him, but it did not. Ald's okay. Everyone's okay, so just go with another Blaze Mark. Fire Slash for 93. 82. 64 damage on Maribel. That's not great. 118. Dark Draco is defeated. 1,330 points of XP, 950 gold. Yeah, double sap really, really helped there. Ald and his companions killed the Dark Draco. The seal was broken and the Door of Darkness vanished as well. The Door of Darkness. The entire area began to brighten. Ah, uh, feel that lovely uh, warmth. Oh, even the... Uh, the steps disappeared. The um, electric panel thingies. Whee! Yay, not breaking our legs, falling down. Well, everything looks pretty nice. Heavens, with the seal broken, the town has performed a complete about face. What a fine little place. Wow, it's like a completely different place now. It even has different music. Towns are much better when they're all bright, huh, Ald? Wow, this is the town from before? It looks like a completely different place. Oh, look, the sky. Has, the sky has gotten so clear. The sun is so blinding. I've got tears in my eyes. Yeah, just as long as you don't get tears in your fro. In an instant, the veil of darkness disappeared and the lost light returned. That must mean somebody defeated the Dark Draco. Yeah, that somebody was me. Just all me. All me. The rest of the party members crossing their arms, tapping their foots at me. All right, they helped a little bit. Oh, it's you. I'm so glad that you're safe. As I understand it, God appeared to the priest in a dream shortly before you arrived and told him, The time will come when the light of hope shines through the darkness of despair. Ah, could this too be God's blessing? Pray it be so. Oh, you've done it. You really are the light of hope. Starting today, this town will be able to take a new step forward thanks to your efforts. I am humbled in your presence. I feel certain that a bright future lies ahead. God has graced us with his benevolence and renewed my will to serve in his name. Let's go ahead and oracle as long as we're here. 9270 for Ald. 1214 for Melvin. 6767 for Gabo. 6922 for Maribel. Nice. Okay. Well, let's go talk to everyone else and then uh, head back to the future and to see what uh, what the world is like there. What the town is like there. I don't know how, but someone actually destroyed the Dark Draco. I'd given up on that happening long ago. Endlessly impressive. <laughs> the 
look, look at that. When the sun came out, my daughter finally awoke. When the Hellvine was still around, I resented the sun and didn't want any light at all. However, now that I feel so grateful for its return, I'm ashamed of my selfishness. Well, it's a good thing that the Hellvine is dead. Let's go, uh, stop by the inn. Let's actually stay at the inn. I will be wanting a room. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no time to be sleeping. We've seen the sun for the first time in hundreds of years. I'd be happy for weeks without night. Do you still want to stay here? Yes, I do. Very well. After all, the customer is always right. Yes. Please let me stay. I need to heal. Jeez. Good morning. Have a good day. Hey, lady, where's our meal? Hurry up, will you? Once I've had a bite, I'm off to find a new place to peddle my wares. I've got to make up for the make up the losses I've incurred as a result of all that's happened here. After all, my departure from here has been delayed by hundreds of years, you know? <laughs> has it really been that long? I guess they were saying that they made people, like, live forever or something. That, to that effect. Hey, did you hear that? They said the darkness is lifted. Isn't that good news? Now I won't have to cook spiders and lizards and who knows what other kinds of weird things anymore. Oh no, I still haven't replaced the pots and utensils I was using before. You can just wash them, lady. Give them a good scrubbing. It's so wonderful to be alive and facing the light of day once again. This means that things have finally returned to normal. I'm glad I lived to see the day. Yippee! You really did it! Yep. I expected great things from you, but I never thought it possible for you to free the people from the darkness. Truly, you are only bound to this world by your fleshy, fleshly constraints. Ha ha ha! Uh, stuff? W want, want to buy? No, no? It's no use playing dumb. I know exactly what you did. I expected great things from you. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, he still will not sell us anything. Sell me stuff. Nope, he will not sell us anything. I resent you, sir. I resent you so much. So deeply. It's been quite a while since I've looked after the store like this. It makes me a little nervous. Welcome to Mini Mini Shop. Oh, goodness me, force of habit, I suppose. Wait a second, I'll calm myself and try again. Okay, here it goes. Welcome to the armor store. How can I help you? Uh, let's see. Wizard armor. No. Silver armor. No. Heavy armor. No. It's a lot better for Gabo, but eh. Dragon shield. Has it. Iron mask. No. Two in the bag. Welp. All right, I got it. I'll be fine now. Come in any time. Well, nothing interesting in the armor shop, which probably means there will be nothing interesting in the weapons shop. So that's another thing. It was, uh, you know, if I didn't, if I hadn't um, gone nuts at the casino with save states and gotten so much money, um, you'd be kind of at the same point for equipment for a really long time in this game. So it's really not that bad that you can't immediately buy the best stuff right away, because the uh, best stuff will be around for a while. With the arrival of the Dark Draco and then the Hellvine, I was beginning to worry that God had forsaken us. However, it appears that God was watching over us the whole time. The darkness is lifted and the Hellvine has reaped what it has sown. Oh, the sheer excitement of it all. It's time to celebrate. Lumen will be at peace for generations to come. I dare death to stride our way with his sickly girlish gait. Girlish? Girlish? What's wrong with a girlish gait? Boom! Bombcrag is sleeping. It seems to be talking in its sleep. I mean, at least they have a friendly neighborhood Bombcrag, right? It's so good to see you. Thanks to you, I was able to return to my home. Is that bomb crack still there? He seems to have made a home out of my first floor. The loud noises it makes are so unnerving. 
Well, you know, occasionally it'll just giggle. Don't worry about it. I'm so happy my eyes and nose are gushing. <laughs> I didn't know what the I didn't know that the light of the sun was this warm. How did you not know that? I'd almost forgotten that sunlight exists. Is this a dream? Yes. This must be a mirage as well. Uh, why must we suffer so? Alright, let's be nice. No, it isn't. So, this is real sunlight. This means that light has finally returned to our world. Father, can you hear me? We have finally been freed from the darkness and from the hellvine. Ah, so the priest spoke the truth. God sent you to save this city. No, God has sent you to save this world. Hey, it's true. It's true. It's all true. Oh, hello. <laughs> now you've done it. With Barunga finally dead, I was certain that this town would be mine to rule over. I had not planned on the defeat of the Dark Draco. Time to put an end to your unpredictable meddling once and for all. Oh. Hello. Evil clown appeared. Uh, yeah, we still have that. All right. I uh, go with quad hits. Just go ahead and fight. Just go ahead and fight, and let's not cast anything. Blaze more rude. I just healed all that damage, you dink. He's pretty resistant. Ten damage is not too bad. He has a really high defense, it seems like. But he is dead. 100 points of XP, 120 gold. Now oh, serves you right, sir. You could have been my friend, but no. You didn't want to be. Alright, well, let's head to the present and uh, see how they're prospering. Any change over here? The hole is dark and deep. A large plant had its roots here, and uh, this was left when it was uprooted. Oh. Well, someone must have come through and dug that up. It's probably fine. Maybe they wanted it for fertilizer in their fields. Um, hmm, hold on a second. Oh, okay, no, I, uh, I was looking at something and was seeing some information that I was, uh, unsure about, but I was wrong. All right, so where has... I think that is up here. So what would be the best way to get there? Maybe go into Dune. <clears throat> Let's try that. Unlike a lot of the others, it is going to stay an island. Uh, you know what? Have we been to... Can we not go to, uh... Yeah, we can't go to, uh, Sims Town, it looks like. Let's go to Fishbell first. Yeah, that's up to the north. I could probably, uh, take the carpet up there, maybe.
Let's see, have we gotten enough people here? Yes, we have. Oh, friends, I was waiting for you. Well, what do you think? Quite a lot has changed since you saw the last town, eh? With all the new immigrants, we're well on our way to creating a bustling metropolis. So I figured it was about time we came up with a name. I've spent many long nights trying to come up with that per with the perfect name. And that name is... Altville. Altville. Is that stately enough for you? No. Hmm, I see. Well then, how about... Altberg. Perfect. You like it? No. Of course not. I had a feeling you'd say that, so I saved the best for last. Drumroll, please. Presenting the great... Aldgard. <laughs> You've got to love the modern sound of this one. Sure, we'll go with that one. Yes, out of all the names I came up with, Aldgard was my favorite. Well, then this town shall be Aldgard. Forevermore. And one more thing. If you ever need me, stop by the hut just outside of town. Now, I'm getting to the age where physical labor really takes its toll, so I've decided to concentrate on city planning and management. Please continue your role as recruiter and keep telling people about the town. With hard work, we can continue to strengthen the infrastructure of Aldgard. What? You found the tiny metal. Ald obtained the tiny metal. So, the different stages of town will have uh, different pieces of equipment. Or items, I should say. My business is going strong here. I'm truly grateful. And this is... There are uh, tiny metals, so... Right this way to Sino's Shop of Surprises with goods from Little Rudd and all over the world. All obtained three gold. Haven't seen you in a while. Remember me? I'm Han. I came a long way since Provina. Don't you think? Damn straight. I'm Tannic from Falrish. I used to be a sailor. All the ships I ever sailed on sank. And so I'm still like a fish out of water. Come to Reheads, a store with quality merchandise you won't find anywhere else. Hey, long time no see. Remember me from Hemalia? I intend to make... Mine, the biggest store in town. Just watch. So that looks like that's all the items that are available right now. As we get more uh, recruits, it will expand more. Uh, you can only get 27 on disc 1. So you can't do any more than that, and uh, this should be, uh... Sim himself. Ald looked into the well. Well lure appeared from the well! Oh no! I'm not actually scared at all. Yep. Pretty easy. 150 points of XP, 100 gold. Well, I suppose we should actually go down the well, shouldn't we? Only to find that there is nothing down there. Disappointing. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Nor is there anything up there. Okay. Many have moved here, herding like mindless sheep. Soon this place will be a real town, thanks to you. Please continue to help Aldgard develop. Ald found Old Man Sim's diary in the bookshelf. Ald secretly read the diary. Page 1. The weather is fine today. It's too early to call it a town, but the population has been increasing, thanks to Ald and the other party members. I vow to do my best for Aldgard in spite of my old age. Watch found the slime ring. Melvin obtained the slime ring. Alt obtained six gold. There is all of Old Man Sim's uh, life savings. Alt peered into the hanging sack, but there was nothing useful. A painting is displayed on the wall. All right, so we've gotten everything we can there. Let's go ahead and return. I 
think we should have... No, we still don't. Does it ever get added on there? Maybe not. I thought it did. Well, let's go to Dune. There's my boat. Ah, I can't pick up the flowers. Okay, I can't do anything with the hole. But the hole is still here, for some reason. There's two towns now. Which is a little bit odd. Something's wrong, Ald. What on earth is going on? I thought we saved this town. Let's go back to the past and see if Lumen needs our help again. I don't believe it. What is happening? After defeating the Dark Draco, how could this happen? Master Ald, it appears something must have happened in the past after we aided the town. It would be wise for us to investigate further. Look, Ald, this town the town is totally devastated. Who could have done such a horrible thing? I'm not going to let them let him get away with it. That is, uh, it's pretty soundly destroyed. Like, th this building is just completely gone. Even the gravestones are gone. All looked into the well. What? You found the tiny metal. Gabo obtained the tiny metal. Well, at least we got a tiny metal. That looks odd. Well, let's get back up. Let's go check out what this other town is. Maybe they know something about what has happened. No, wrong thing. Let us dispense with pleasantries. You are a band of traveling fighters, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, so you've been fighting with monsters, yes? Yeah. Excellent, I've finally found the people I've been waiting for. Assistant, give these people what I was talking about earlier. Yes, sir. All obtained a bag of food. Ooh, I like food. That beef jerky lets you tame almost any monster you run into. It's powerful stuff. Just one whiff of it turns them into little puppy dogs. Of course, it works best if you use it after the battle is over. I developed it after years of research, so try using it as much as you can. This is all yours. What? Do I want anything from you? Of course not. Well, now that you mention it... Yeah, I only ask that you lend a little help, so that uh, I may fulfill my dream. My dream is to build a monster park right here. So if you tame any monsters after a battle, could you send them here? Please help me make my dream come true. Welcome to another side quest for the rest of the game. I heard that the professor's ancestors could actually communicate with monsters. That's why they ended up being drummed out of town. I wonder if that's true. I'll check the bookshelf. There were no special books. I'll check the bookshelf. There were no special books. I'll check the bookshelf. There were no special books. I'll check the bookshelf. There were no special books. Nothing useful. Watch, you found the slime clothes. Put the slime clothes in your bag. Slime clothes, huh? Uh, so I think I figured out why the um, tiny metals were not uh, fully stacking. I think you can only have like 50 items in a stack in this game. And so, there are three. Di I, I think there are like three different tiny metal item types because of that. 
So they were stacking up separately, even though I hadn't hit 50 with any of them. Uh, I have six right now. I don't think I need... I think I needed more than that for the next item, but we could always check. In fact, tidying the bag might indicate that I have some that were not in a stack. Yep. So I think that the, this was basically like uh, components of one 50 stack, this is components of another 50 stack, that sort of thing, so that it didn't cause problems. Do I have something else? Um, let's see. Memo on monster habitat. So I think we might need to get some monsters first. I don't think we need to actually use the uh, beef jerky. Maybe we use it over here. I think it's just like an automatic thing. I think this is like the first place that the monsters will go. And all the rest of this space is for others. I do not know when that will actually get used. Okay, but the tower is still here. There will be some new items inside. Let's head in and find out what awaits us next time. See you then, everyone.